What is going on fellow farmers? Welcome back to another beginner's guide tutorial with your boy CJ Farms on FS22. Today guys, we're going to be showing you how to make hay. Now this is not much different than the last tutorial that we did. The equipment's kind of the same, but the process uh, the process is still the same as making silage, but there's just one thing that we just don't do that we did in the last tutorial. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to go over every piece of equipment with you, show you what it does, how it works and where it is okay as we do in every tutorial now this first piece of equipment you guys probably seen in the last one is the crone mower now if you go into your store go in your store and go to vehicles and go down to uh, mowers you will find it right here and if any of you might need uh, this is 380k so if if any of you want to use this these big this big boy equipment for the for the month the the big time money and you guys can't really afford it I do have a tutorial I'll link right here Taking you to a video on how to become filthy rich on FS22 for PC players. And there's also one for PC and console players. I will link them both. Uh, so with that being said, we're going to exit out. And then we're going to go to the next one. That's going to be what's cutting our grass here, our mower. The next one is going to be our Pottinger Terror. Uh, our Pottinger Tether. We're going to go into the store, go down to tools, and then go down to tethers right here. If you go over and you have a selection of tethers right here. But if you go over the one that I've selected is at the very end, okay? This is what you need to make hay, guys. We're going to go back out. And the next one is going to be our loading wagon, which is our pattern loading wagon. Go into your store and go over to where it says forage wagons, okay? Forage wagons is right there. This is going to be all the loading wagons you can pick from. Today I have decided to use this one for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, and then the next tool we're going to be selecting that we're going to be looking at is going to be the wind drawer. So I'll just go ahead and show it to you while we're in here. If you go into the store and go to tools, go to wind drawers, and then scroll over, you will see all your wind drawers here. Now, this is the one that I am using for the tutorial. Uh, like I said, guys, I'll link that video for you uh, if you need some extra cash. So with that being said, let's exit out. And the last but not least right here, this bailer, guys. You're going to need a bailer to bail up your hay. Uh, go into your store and go down to tools and go to bellers and you will find that particular bell that I am using You will find it right. I think see which one is it? I think it's this one right here. I'm sorry. No, it's this one right here It is this one. This is the one right here uh, It's 159 K uh, and it does square bells keep that in mind it does square bells But there are the bellers you can use for round bells as I will link my belling tutorial here uh, all right, let's go back out now the first thing we're gonna have to do of course is cut some grass so Let's go ahead and fire up our mower And we're gonna go over here, and it's I'm not gonna do much here guys uh, Probably not as much as I did in the last tutorial uh, It is late. It's like uh, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning here guys. I've been going at it all day on tutorials um, so I'm about to get some rest and uh, Yeah, but I gotta get some rest cuz I'm getting tired so I'm getting goofy too. I'm getting like that goofy tire, you know what I mean? Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and you gotta now remember guys, I, I'm I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I'm so sorry, forgive me. Um, so you have to unfold the machine, okay? So if you look up in your help window there, and that help window guys can be can be opened by hitting the F1 on your keyboard. You can close it and open it by hitting the F1 on your keyboard. Now if you look over there, it will tell you to unfold the mower, okay? And that's exactly what you want to do. You wanna unfold it. And as soon as these mower decks are unfolded, you can go ahead and lower them, okay? You'll see another option there that says lower. You want to lower the mower. Was a poet, didn't know it. That one's going to drop down as well. Just takes a minute. And then you just want to simply turn it on. And here we go. Now, for those who don't know, or for those who may know, the gra uh, hay, all hay is, is just dried grass. That's all it is. So... For the for like real life farmers, what they do, guys, is they go out and they cut their grass, and they will do one of two things: they will cut the grass and either let it sit for days upon days upon days in the sun, um, or they will bring out and what we have the same thing is what they call a tether, and they will use that tether to spin the grass out right away and turn it immediately into hay. So uh, that's that's what that's what hay is, guys. Just dried grass. That's all hay is. All right, so we're gonna go to the end here and we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna fold it up and we're gonna sling her on over here. And we're gonna go back. We have a nice fine row of grass here that we have just cut, just like we did in the last tutorial. Uh, 
and we're gonna go back and I'm gonna grab the tether and I'll see you guys in the next part of the video all right guys and girls so once you have the tether hooked up to the back of a tractor um, you are just going to um, again look up in your help window guys it will tell you to unfold it now be aware if you're picking the one that I picked it is going to unfold quite a ways now this is a beast of a tether I love it listen to this thing I just love the sound of it yo that's so awesome look at this thing man look at that how cool is that now once you get it unfolded guys go ahead and just lower it down uh oh am I caught on that tree let me pull forward a little bit I am alright so once you got it down on the ground guys just go ahead and turn it on and this tool right here and then you can take off and this tool right here is what's gonna dry your grass out and turn it into hay so right now we are making hay that's what we're doing we are making hay and I've got a lot more tutorials coming your way guys uh, tomorrow well today actually Saturday and Sunday I will be taking time off with the family uh, Sunday evening I'll probably start going again on tutorials so ooh, I gotta get over I gotta get over I want to hit that tree get over get over get over get over get back get back get back there you go uh, so so I take all of Saturday off like legit I'm off all day on Saturdays and then on Sundays, um, I will take most of the day off. And then around Sunday evening, like around 3 or 4 o'clock, I will start popping out uh, videos again and tutorials. So uh, just keep that in mind, guys. But there will be more tutorials coming. Uh, I will keep doing tutorials on FS22 until there is no more tutorials to do. And then we can finally um, go over to our Elm Creek farm and continue our gameplay on there. Uh, I will also be doing mod reviews, guys, as well as... Um, um, I'll be doing mod reviews as well as modding tutorials. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so once you get it in here, guys, just go ahead and you can just fold it up. And it'll it'll go ahead and fold it up and shut it down at the same time. Ooh, I ran right through that crop. It's okay. Crop destruction is turned off. Uh, so now that we have everything tethered up, but I just want to run that by you guys and let y'all know that I do take the weekends off. So uh, once we have everything tethered up, these little JCBs are no joke, man. They're They're pretty quick, man. All right, let's go ahead and hop out. And the next thing you're gonna grab is going to be the windrower, okay? And we're just gonna pull out here. And again, guys, once you get out here, this is a big tool, so uh, that's what she said. Yeah, Beavis. You call me Beavis and your name is Evis. Shut up, Beavis. I want to ask you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm tired. Anyway, guys, you're going to pull up with your windrower, right? Here, <laughs> and you're going you're gonna to unfold it. Look up in the help window, guys, and unfold windrower. That's what you want to do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, it's, um, it's like I said. It's after 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm getting really tired. <laughs> once you got it down here, guys, um, keep in mind, once you lower it, it will take the, the back just a, just a second to lower down with it. So you want to lower the wind drawer or down. The front will go down and now the back will drop, okay? And you just want to turn it on. And what this does, if you guys didn't catch the last tutorial, it just puts your, um, well, what is now hay into a perfect and beautiful row uh, so that it makes it easier to pick up either in the loading wagon where you can store your hay for your cattle or your horses later on, or you can bell it up and uh, go sell it. Uh, so either way, man, you're, you know, you're, you're gonna, it's, it's gonna benefit you somehow. So, you know, whether you bell it up and go sell it or whether you give it to your horses and, you know, your horses are going to eat it and they're, they're going to, you know, you're going to profit from your horses because the more they eat, the more they're worth, uh, and the more you get to sell them for. So, cause horses don't really produce anything except other little horses. So that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, other than, you know, opposed to like, you know, cows, they produce milk and slurry and manure and then pigs, they, uh, they don't really produce anything. They just kind of cause a mess, but, um, and then chickens, you know, they produce eggs, of course, but horses are pretty much the only ga animal in the game that and pigs, it doesn't really produce anything. Their purpose is kind of pointless, but <laughs> Alright guys, once you get to the end here, go ahead and fold that windrower up. God, that's so mean. Now I love animals, guys. I'm not trying I'm just I'm just tired of being goofy, but I love animals. I have nothing but love and respect for animals. Um 
I have a little toy chihuahua named Tiny, for those that don't know, and, and we've had her. She's like 12 years old, and, and she's getting gray on her head. She's even lost some teeth in the back, but she's been around the family for a long time, and she's an amazing little dog. So I, I, am, a, I am a total animal person. I really am. All right, with that being said, guys, now you have two choices here. Um, as you can use a loading wagon, like I said, to load it up and then store it into like a barn where you can store like loose hay and straw. Uh, you can do that and store it for later for your cows or your horses. Or, or you can use your beller to build up. Now, in this tutorial, I'm only going to use the beller because you guys did see me use the loading wagon in the last tutorial. Um, so... We're going to go ahead, and once you get this beller hooked up, guys, just go ahead and unfold her just like that. And you want to drop the pickup in the, in the help window. You'll see uh, lower pickup. You want to lower that down. Go ahead and turn the beller on. And we're going to start it. Y'all see that? It froze for a second. Wow, that was weird. We're going to start picking this up, and I just missed half of it back there. Oh, my gosh. That's driving my OCD crazy. All right. So we're going to go ahead and bail this up. Now you do have, uh, you got hay now. You've got bales of hay being built up. Uh, but that is pretty much it on making hay, guys. There's really not much else to it. Uh, you just, like I said, you cut the grass, use a tether to tether it out and dry it, turn it into hay at that point. Use a windrow to put it in a perfect row, and then you can use either a loading wagon to, to, to load it up and store it for later use. Or you can uh, bail them up and sell them or whatever you want to do with them man you can set them on fire if you want to it's completely up to you. <laughs> with that being said i love you guys so much man we have went up 25 subs within just the last day guys in the last 24 hours we have went up 25 subs on cj farms so i just want to tell you guys thank you so much guys and girls out there thank you so much uh for your time contribution and your loyalty to the cj farms youtube channel as uh you know i love doing farm sim content anybody that knows me will tell you that um but yeah guys that is pretty much it we're going to go ahead and lift up this pickup now in my belling tutorial i will tell you how to eject your bells but i'm going to tell you how to do it right here to manually eject your bells because once this bell or gets so full the, the the square bell once get once it gets so full if i can spit it out uh it will <laughs> It will automatically eject the bells. Let me go ahead and see if I can't pick up this last little bit right here. Because I did miss some. I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, I'm really tired, guys. I, I do apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you again for the for the, for the the subs, for, for the likes and the videos. Um, I, I just appreciate everything you guys truly, truly do. And once we get out of here, I will um, show you how to manually eject a bell. All right. Again, guys, it will be up in your help window. Anything you need to get know, guys, is always up in that help window. So your tools, any kind of tools you have hooked up, is uh, the controls form is always in that help window up there. It's a very, very useful tool. I love having that help window. I think that's it, except for this little, this little bit right here, and it's not going to make a difference. But uh, once you, um, if you want to check the bell, guys, you've got to make sure you turn the bell off first, and then you look up in the window. It will say unload beller. And we, we buy got two bells out of this. We got two bells. We got exactly two bells. And we got one more working its way down right there. And then just fold it up, lift your pickup. And that is pretty much it, guys, for this tutorial. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything you all do. Until next time, this is CJ Farms. And one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. I will see you all first thing Monday morning with more tutorials just like these well not just like these but different beginner guide tutorials y'all get what i'm saying love y'all man have a great weekend peace out ladies and gentlemen peace